Reaper back at your ass again. Black at your ass again. I just want to talk about uh, the hot topic, you know, of the NBA. And that's my man, Mr. LeBron James. You know, um, I think that was, uh, you know, LeBron got, you know, Michael Beasley, Rajon Rondo, JaVale McGee, you know, um, what's the brother's name? Lance Stevenson, you know. I think they're going to be a good mix in L.A. If Luke Walton got his hands full, though, to keep all these volatile personalities, you know, uh, in tech. But, you know, I think they're all on one-year contracts for a reason because, you know, I think the Lakers going to make a run this year because the smart thing that the Rafters did was acquire Kawhi Leonard for DeMar Rosen. And, uh, you know, I mean, they did a smart thing because by the middle of trading deadline, middle of next season, the trading deadline, Toronto is going to uh, trade Kawhi Leonard and they're going to get some draft picks and some good young talent, which they wouldn't have got for DeMar Rosen, you know, but Popovich want to take DeMar Rosen because DeMar Rosen, you know, he can come for him. You know, nobody wants to play for San Antonio. No, none of them brothers do because, you know, I'm just saying that uh, uh, brothers don't look like they having fun for San Antonio. The Reaper keep it 1,000. You know, I mean, they look like they miserable playing there. You know, but they look like if they went against that system that they would be, you know, uh, blackballed or whatever from other teams because Popovich got a lot of pull in the NBA and then he's a championship coach. But it's just like the New England Patriots. You know, they may win championships, but it don't look like that's the place for brothers because it don't look like brothers have no fun playing there. I'm just keeping it real. It looks like it's a ship that's ran you know, real tight and square and you can't be yourself and, you know, you can't have no fun there. You know, I'm just saying. And only a square brother like Tim Duncan could thrive in that kind of system. A brother that's coming, you know, with any kind of personality or anything, he couldn't thrive in that system. You know, if you got any type of personality or anything or charisma about yourself and personality you can thrive in pop system because he ain't gonna let you have no fun you know the reaper keep it 1000 and so uh you know i mean you can't you can't be a character there you know where you go around making people laugh and you know making people feel comfortable and you have a you have a personality where you know, a lot of people like you or whatever. You got to be one of those square stick in the mud, straight up brothers that, you know, that will conform and do what he tell you to do and not question it, you know, uh, because you recognize he the general and you the player. And see, Kawhi Leonard just wasn't that type of brother, you know. And you see what happened to Kawhi. Kawhi shut his mouth. He don't say nothing. He got a good guy personality. He's a good guy in the NBA. And, you know, he won championships there. He got two MVP finals trophies. And, you know, look at how Popovich dogged him out. He had Tony Parker, you know, that mind control slave, and which, which would do anything. He'll suck the shit out of Popovich's ass, just like Tim Duncan would, right? And they'll do anything that he tell them to do. And that's why he went up. He ain't even a vocal dude. And all the bullshit he went in, he went up to try to say Kawhi Leonard wasn't injured. Why would a player do this to another player? Because Tony Parker was put up to that by Popovich. The Reaper keep it 1,000. And so Kawhi's got a reason that he don't want to stay there. He don't, he don't really like the dude. He don't really have fun playing for the dude. You know, and no brother do. That's why LeBron James didn't go there. LeBron James, if it was all about championships, LeBron James would have went to San Antonio and played for a championship winning coach. And that's why LaMarcus Aldridge wanted up out of there. 
because they try to make it seem like Popovich got this, you know, thing that he get along with brothers and this, that, and the other. No, they speak highly of this clown because, you know, uh, they know that they money is in jeopardy. The Reaper keep it 1,000. He's got pull in the NBA, but, you know, Kawhi Leonard don't want to play there. It's Kawhi Leonard to go play for the Toronto Rafters before he would put on another San Antonio jersey again, and that told me everything. You know, that told me everything right there. See, because Kawhi Leonard, hey, he ain't like, uh, you know, uh, Tim Duncan. Kawhi Leonard is from the Los Angeles, L.A. County. He's from South Central Los Angeles. And uh, the brother, you know, hey, he got his championships and he didn't really like playing for the dude, you know. And uh, so with him not like playing for the dude and nobody really likes the dude, you know, because you can't have a personality. The brothers just play there for the money. They don't really like playing for Popovich, you know, and so, you know, that's why. But see, DeMar Rosen, you know, DeMar Rosen, you could just tell, you could look at him and tell. He's going to conform to what Popovich want him to do. That's why Popovich got him, you know, because he's going to conform to what Popovich want him to do because DeMar Rosen can be controlled and Popovich knows that. And he only get these these brothers, you know, that can be controlled. You know, if it's a brother that he doesn't feel like he can control, you know, uh, he won't get them. Just like uh, uh, Bill Belichick, all the brothers said that, you know, yeah, they win championships, but, you know, we don't like playing there. That's why I don't know brothers like going there and playing because, you know what, they don't have no fun there. The brothers, if you're, if you're a black man, like from the ghetto or whatever, and you know how we be joking around and clowning, you know, you can't do that. You know, you can't have fun on your job, you know? And so, you know, that's why they don't like uh, going there playing because you should be able to have fun with what you do. You playing basketball, it should be fun first and foremost. You know, I mean, it's, it's business, but it should be fun to play. Why you playing business? And that's why LeBron James didn't go there, and that's why Kawhi Leonard wanted out, and that's why some of your top free agents didn't go there. LaMarcus Aldridge wished he had a stayed in Portland. He does not like being there, and that's why DeMar Rosen was so upset. DeMar Rosen don't want to go to San Antonio because the brothers done heard the reputation that it has. You know, I mean... You know, if it was all a good, fun place to play and, you know, and it was all fun and you could be yourself or this, that, and the other, Kawhi Leonard would resign there. They can offer him the most money. The reason Kawhi Leonard don't want to resign there is because, you know, they don't have no fun there. You know, it ain't fun playing basketball there. It seems more like a job, you know, and the coach thinks he's more important than the players is. The Reaper keep it 1,000 and... He likes to, you know, enforce his strict control, you know, and they uh, basketball players don't like that. You know, I mean, I mean, nobody would like playing for there if you can't have no fun. You can't have no fun doing what you're doing at the same time. And so, you know, I think DeMar Rosen going to be up out of there, too, you know, unless they pay him a boatload of cash and, uh, you know, but Popovich feel like, you know, he can control him more than Kawhi Leonard, uh, you know, and uh, he looks like one of them brothers uh, that you can control that, hey, he look like he'll be scared of Popovich, the Reaper keep it 1,000, and LeBron, gonna have a, LeBron is having the time of his life, he wanted to be in L.A., he got a big old house there, he got two big houses there, his whole family moving there, mama and all. And they're going to be rich as fuck and just have a bunch of fun in California and everything. And he's going to make that his permanent home. You know, that's going to be his permanent home because he's building like a 20 or $30 million mansion there. So he's going to live there and that's going to be his permanent residence, you know. And uh, he's going to ball out. He's going to win the championship too. So that's what I think, you know. And uh, I think the host of characters that he got, you know, is shaky. You know, Michael Beasley, you know, I mean, you 
know, and uh, Ray John Rondo, and you know, JaVale McGee, and then you got Lance Stevenson. You know, they they ain't used to get, they don't get along with coaches. They've been known to clash. And then you got Luke Walton at the helm, who, who they don't respect. So they gonna have to get somebody in there that they can respect. But I think Luke Walton is picked there for a reason because LeBron James can't play for no Hall of Fame coach. Or I'll put it like this. He don't want to play for no Hall of Fame coach. LeBron don't want to play for no Hall of Fame coach. You know, and in Miami, you know, he didn't really like Spolstra, but Pat Riley was running that shit. And uh, that's why he left there. When he got his rings, he left and went back home because he didn't like being there and Shaq didn't like being there either because Pat Riley is a control freak. And Pat Riley didn't get to be a control freak like that until he had won a couple championships with the Lakers and that was because of Magic. You know, but, you know, Pat Riley used to be fun to play with and he done lost his damn mind, you know, uh, in, uh, you know, Miami because he they let him run the whole show. He don't want a couple rings there, so he ain't going nowhere. But, uh, yeah, LeBron James likes to play for young coaches like that because, you know, he runs the show. You know, that's why he wanted Ty Lu up over the older dude, David Black, you know, because LeBron likes to uh, run the show. You know, he likes to play in his system, and when he practice, he practice. When he don't, he don't. He don't want nobody on his back and... If he got a Hall of Fame coach, they're gonna be they gonna notice that they're gonna be on him a little bit more about what he does and this, that, and the other, and it ain't gonna be no fun for him like it is now, you know. But when you go play with LeBron James and he got a young coach, he know more than the coach do. So Luke Walton came in at the same draft as him. So, you know, he gonna like playing for Luke. Because LeBron James gonna be coaching that team and running that show. And he wouldn't be able to do that with a Hall of Fame coach. That's why he ain't never had one. And he ain't never desired to have one. You know, hey, I don't blame him. I mean, he can be his own man. And, you know, so that's what I wanted to say about that situation. And uh, tune into the Reaper. You know, go to YouTube, jazzbowthereaper.com and subscribe. And, you know, we appreciate everybody that subscribes and go to jazzbotareaper.com and order some of the Reaper merchandise and uh, we appreciate y'all support and uh, keep watching us because we doing big things here at Reaper. Peace.